Welcome all to Off the Cuff with Namrata and I'm delighted to have a, a guest today who is making a huge difference in the lives of underprivileged children in India and I can say this that the education should not be able to get from anyone. The education is the right of everyone. The guest today is providing that to uh, the underprivileged uh, children in India. Welcome, Sugam, to Off the Cow. Thank you so much for having me here. My, my pleasure and my delight, always. I'm, I always look up to the work you do, so keep it up. Thank you so much. So all I can say about Sugam is she is the CEO and founder of a non-profit organization here based in the Bay Area, Warriors for Empowerment. And she is doing wonderful work um, uh, through that organization. It is an organization, uh, you know, that provides uh, opportunities for um, children to grow. They are dedicated to providing education to children in villages across India. And Warriors for Empowerment provides every child with a high quality education, school materials, schools and uniforms. They are a 100% volunteer driven organization and every dollar goes directly to the child they support. So Sugam, before, you know, this is, I just read this, but I would love to know more about the organization and why you started it. Yes, absolutely. So Warriors for Empowerment was started six years ago uh, here in California. And we also um, are in India, so we have a volunteer team in California, we have a volunteer team in India, and uh, we are in our sixth year. We have helped out over 200 children in this six years journey that we've had. Wow. The first year of Warriors for Empowerment, we had only 10 children and three donors, so wow. we've come a long way. And um, that's what makes this entire journey a process. We learn from the kids, the kids learn from us and um, our directors in India as well. There's a lot of things that have happened in the six years, which mm -hmm. just keeps us going and makes us excited every day to do new things in India. That is so true. And uh, you know, I think uh, education is such an important uh, tool to change a nation. So yes. like we say, you know, pen is mightier than this word. Yes. And uh, you are empowering the kids that way. Uh, you, so tell me about the, the mission and vision of your organization and you recently visited India. Yes, uh, that's right. So uh, yes. tell a little bit about Yes, that. absolutely. So our mission and vision at Warriors for Empowerment is to inspire, educate and empower mm -hmm. children in villages across India. And we also help out with women's empowerment workshops. Our directors are doing that on an annual basis. Um, with women who are in the same villages as were the children we support. Mm -hmm. And um, so, yeah, I actually just came back from India. My entire team, my California team, actually, all of us went together to India. And uh, we had an amazing time there. We set up Children's Day activities in all of the states mm -hmm. that we are a part of. Um, we went to uh, Uttar Pradesh, we went to Punjab, we went to Delhi, um, Andhra Pradesh and Bangalore. So mm -hmm. everywhere we conducted full day Children's Day activities. So I'm, and I'm very much missing India, but it was quite an amazing uh, experience there. I'm sure it must be so gratifying for you. And uh, besides providing, you know, educational materials like, uh, you know, I read, uh, do you do one-on-one men uh, -on -one mentoring? Uh, how do you go about it? Yes, absolutely. So uh, in addition to providing education, we also do one-on-one -on -one mentoring. Mm -hmm. um, we provide um, coaching and counseling. So our directors who are in India, all of them have um, former educational experience. One of our directors is a former IIT coach okay. who volunteers with our organization. So all of them are actually providing emotional support okay. and mental support mm -hmm. and really helping them out to make sure that they are um, really supported from ages five until they graduate from college. Yeah, uh, you know, it, it seems and it uh, sounds very wonderful to hear that, yeah. but I'm sure there must be a lot of challenges that you face because these kids are coming from, uh, you know, villages and rural areas. Uh, and you know, the, the whole environment is very different there. And when you come as an outsider, you know, it takes time for them to, get comfortable and even uh, start trusting uh, an outsider. So how do you uh, go about making those connections? Yes. Yeah. 
So um, definitely, uh, your question is actually a really good question. A lot of these kids, they all are coming from um, village backgrounds, so their parents are doing two to three jobs. They don't have time to work with their children or support them or guide them. Mm -hmm. And um, when they go back to their village, um, it's very difficult for them because now they know English, now they have um, you know, a little bit more broader scope. And so when they go back to the village, it's very difficult for them to kind of mingle with kids their age group because it's just yeah. a very different process. So I think some of the challenges we face is really on the emotional side. Oh. A lot of these children have been raised to believe that they cannot do anything that they want to in their life. Mm -hmm. So at Warriors for Empowerment, we try to uh, inspire and motivate them as much as possible so that they can... Um, you know, get out of those emotional barriers and kind of the limiting beliefs that people in their village have instilled in them since a very young age. That is wonderful. And, uh, you know, you are, uh, I'd say, a role model here for many, uh, Sugam. And I know your youth wing is very uh, powerful. In, uh, and, uh, you know, uh, you have a huge, uh, strong youth wing uh, in this organization. Uh, any message uh, you'd like to give to the young uh, people listening? Yes, absolutely. So um, we do have a youth ambassador program here in California. We currently have 50 youth that are part of our team and they do anything from social media to marketing to doing campaigns and fundraising. It gives them a really good experience because they are all born and raised here mm -hmm. and they get to a little bit learn about India and a little bit about where their parents grew up. So mm -hmm. if you are interested, if you're in middle school or if you're in high school and you would like to join a volunteer team and make an impact in India, definitely Definitely, um, that's Warriors for Empowerment is definitely an option for you. You get to learn a lot of different skills, and then if you have some leadership uh, qualities, you get to utilize that in a nonprofit setting as well. And it always will impact India in the long term. Wonderful, and uh, like uh, you know, I said that hundred percent of the proceeds of the nation go to uh, empowering these kids. Um, so coming to uh, donations and fundraising, uh, we, uh, you know, would you like to talk about the upcoming gala that is coming, which is going to have uh, a spectacular, spectacular uh, performances and, uh, uh, you know, singers. So uh, let us know about that. Yes. Yeah. So our Warriors for Empowerment annual gala is coming up on April 29th, as Namrata mentioned, and we would love to invite all of you to join us. There's going to be music, there's going to be dance, there's going to be entertainment, um, trivia, and there will be prizes as well for the audience. Our events are very high energy. People always leave rejuvenated. They get to meet somebody new, and it's all for a good cause. As Namrata mentioned, this is a 100% volunteer-run organization, so every dollar that we raise at the gala is going to go directly to the villages in India and all the projects that Warriors for Empowerment support. So we would love to have you at the gala. We have incredible artists performing, Shanti Goshal, Shraddha Patak, and Sanjeev Goswami. So we would love to have you there. Absolutely. And uh, where is it and where can they get the tickets? Yes. So the event is at My Royal Palace, which is in Milpitas, and it's going to be from 6 p.m. until midnight and tickets are on our website which is warriorsforempowerment.org um, forward slash events. So you can buy your tickets on our website. Definitely, uh, listeners, I think this is uh, going to be a wonderful evening and supporting a, a good cause, I'll say. And uh, any any story, uh, uh, Sukhan, that comes to your mind, which you'd like to share, you know, on your recent visit or previously? Uh, yes, absolutely. Yeah. So one of our um, child that we support, um, her name is Kanika. So she oh. comes from a village uh, in Saroli, okay. Uttar Pradesh, is a very small place. And mm -hmm. um, the girls and the females there are mostly housewives mm -hmm. and they don't really get a chance to read books or even kind of venture outside of their village. Okay. So our child, um, when we first um, met her, which mm -hmm. was six years ago, mm -hmm. and we started supporting her, she was very shy. She had a lot of confidence issues. Yeah. Uh, her father is an alcoholic and so her mother uh, really was kind of her guiding light she really wanted to help her out mm. so when we met her this year uh, which is after six years mm. it was so amazing to see her transformation um, her her mother was not able to join us but she was um, at our children's day activity mm. 
it was so nice to see how far she's come, how emotionally strong she's become. Wow. And so it's really nice to see the different things that these kids go through, especially since they come from very troublesome yeah. and dire situations. Mm -hmm. So I would say, I think, I always think about Kanika, I always think about all the other kids that I met in India, mm -hmm. but to see for her to come from this super shy, very low self-confidence, doesn't even believe that she can get an education or do a good job. Mm -hmm. um, and now how far she's come. She also likes Bollywood dancing now, so it's really nice. She did a performance for us at the Children's Day Festival uh, because of her mother. So her mother is doing a great job, even though there's abuse and there's alcoholism going on in Kanika's family, as is the story with many of the families we support. It's nice to see how far these kids can come through correct mentoring, correct coaching, and education. Uh, so, Gham, what more uh, can I say? You are providing, uh, you know, hope to so many of these people. And uh, uh, I just have to say, keep going on this path. You are, uh, you know, doing amazing work the entire to the entire team of uh, Warriors for Empowerment. You know, there are many people, uh, you know, who joined. Uh, so all I say is Warriors for Empowerment is a 501c non-profit organization that empowers underprivileged children through the power of education. And um, the states that you uh, said were, how many states are you in now? So we are in Uttar Pradesh, okay. we're in Punjab, okay. we are in Haryana, okay. Delhi, uh, Bangalore and Andhra Pradesh. Okay, yes. great. And you do tie up with uh, government uh, schools? Yes, uh, we and do. Go yes. through the, the right channels. That's uh, right. Yes. yes, absolutely. We have a tie up with specific schools. Okay. So all of our children mm -hmm. um, are attending schools that we have already pre selected mm -hmm. for them. Yes, yeah. That is wonderful. That I hope this information will be enough for all of you to come support the gala on April 29th at the royal palace yes. right in mill peters 6 pm buy your tickets now and sogham as and uh, like i said earlier is one of those uh, you know powerful strong shining women who's followed a path of uh, you know uh, giving and uh, trying to make a difference in her uh, in her own ways so uh, that is wonderful Thank you, Sogam, for Thank joining. You so uh, we are, Thank you so much. It's always a pleasure meeting you and talking to you. Thank you. It's been a pleasure here. And thank you once again, Amrita. I really appreciate this. My pleasure. Take care. Bye-bye.
महंगा है दिल सबके बस का नहीं ये दिखना है पर तेरी खाते मुझे भी आज बाजार दिख गया है देगा तू कर सतर शर मेरा मुफ्त का तो, तो प्रेमी पचत हमारे देगा तू कर सतर शर मेरा तुम्हारा भी दिल हम खरीदे यादम बोलो का तो रसीद सोचा तुम्हारा भी दिल हम खरीदे यादम बोलो का तो रसीद फिर तुमसे घर वाले कैसा भी चाहे नजर तुम्हारे मेरी हाजरी दे पर तुम्हारे है नजरों से हारे मेरा तू कर सतर शर मेरा मुफ्त का तो ये तो प्रेमी पचहत्तर हमारे मेरा तू कर सतर शर मेरा मुफ्त का Shosha is a creative Indian restaurant located in the heart of Silicon Valley. Shosha is a woman-owned business that serves traditional Indian flavors assimilated with molecular gastronomy techniques. The best Indian bar with happy hours in the Bay Area serves handcrafted drinks inspired by flavors from India with modern craft cocktails that are presented in unique ways. Shosha is a modern take on traditional Indian cuisine. We specialize in corporate luncheon, anniversary celebrations, birthday parties, and catering. Do check us out for a memorable modern Indian dining experience. Shosha is located at 141 South Murphy Avenue in Sunnyvale, California.